So in this video, I'm going to show you how to graph the derivative of a function. So here's a function, square root of 5x minus 2. Sometimes you'll get a function, especially in HL, where you don't know how to find the equation of the derivative, but you can graph the derivative to answer a question. So first we want to do is type in our function into y1, and then in y2, we just hit math and go to the derivative option number 8, and we have to type in an x here for d dx, that means derivative, and then we want in parentheses y1, because that's the function we want the derivative of. So to call up the y1 menu, we have to hit alpha and trace, which calls up the f4 menu, and now we can see all our different y values, and we just want y1, so we hit enter there. And then for this box, we type in x. So then when I hit graph, the blue one is the original function f of x, the red one is the derivative f prime of x. So now why would we want to do this? Um, let's say we wanted to know when is the function in blue changing at a rate of um, changing at a rate of two meters per second or two uh, find when the derivative equals two. So that could be kind of difficult if you need to first find the equation of the derivative and then set it equal to two to solve for x. That's a lot of algebra. But in this case, we can um, hide the original function by clicking on that equals and see now it's not black anymore. And now, now that I have the derivative graphed, I can type in y equals 2 and see where these two graphs intersect. So if that's the derivative and I want to know when does the derivative equal 2, now I can find the intersection, second calc intersect, and then I click enter on my first curve, I have to make sure I'm actually on the first curve somewhere. So there we go. I'm on the red curve, and I hit enter. And now the second curve, I'm on the black one. And now guess I want to see where they intersect. So now I just found the x-coordinate of where the original function has a derivative of 2. So that this is a particular problem where you might need to graph the derivative in order to answer a question like that. 